I would say that if you go around the country and look at the number of centers that have this set up in the same way, you're talking about less than six, something like that. It's not a very large number of places that do this. My name is Marshall Baker. I am a, a hepatobiliary surgical oncologist, uh, which means I specialize in pancreas and liver tumors, uh, pancreas and liver cancers. You know, I'm also the surgical director of the research program in liver oncology. Complex organ oncology is, you know, cancers in the pancreas, bile ducts, liver, uh, first part of the small intestine, you know, it's what I would describe as an anatomically tight part of the body. There are a lot of sort of crucial uh, structures that kind of are in and around those organs that make it um, technically a little bit more difficult than uh, probably other things that we do in surgical oncology to do. It's changed a lot. I, you know, I think the, the biggest, the couple of just sort of general areas that we've seen things change. One of them is, I've, is I feel like in the outcomes from the operations that we do. So over the course of my lifetime, the operations have, um, I think, grown in complexity, um, but the outcomes have gotten better. Um, some of that I think has to do with the field and it's, a growing understanding of the technical nuances of what we do. Some of it, I think, is also to do with the development of minimally invasive approaches to almost everything that we do. And those have really kind of made patients' recoveries from these complex operations totally different than it was when I was in training growing up. They just tend to do so much better when you can kind of keep the incision small and, and get the cancers out. The transplant oncology program is really one that is a collaboration between University of Utah Transplant Surgery and the Huntsman Cancer Institute surgical oncology and medical oncology groups. So it's meant to help identify patients that would benefit from liver transplant that have cancers of different types. Um, and we see mainly folks with primary liver cancer, but also patients with metastatic cancer from the colon, small intestine, other places that, that um, that we think might benefit from liver transplant. For the patient, I feel like you, you get a better discussion because the providers that would be making the decisions with the patient uh, are all there in the same room together at the same time with the patient. So you tend to have a much more robust conversation about what the pathology is, what the treatment course has been like to date, uh, where we think the tumor is headed in terms of its potential to affect the rest of the patient, not just the liver. Um, and so I think you get a much better decision about whether or not transplant makes sense versus surgical resection versus more chemotherapy or immunotherapy versus other forms of liver-directed therapy. I would say that if you go around the country and look at the number of centers that have this set up in the same way, you're talking about less than six, something like that. It's not a very large number of places that do this. I think the Huntsman Cancer Institute is a, um, is a really unique, uh, spectacular place. You know, it's a place where patients have ease of access to sort of world-class care. They you know, walk in the door, it's very easy to navigate. There are a wide range, there is a wide range of sort of ancillary services that support them uh, and help make their trip through cancer care more comfortable, um, more psychologically supportive, but it's also a place that brings together world-class surgical skill, you know, world-class and sort of incredibly intelligent researchers, uh, medical oncologists, pathologists, interventional radiologists, all of whom are sort of national and international leaders in their fields so that you're just seeing sort of state-of-the-art care that's innovating as we're going through time. Mm -hmm.